Filled by the Lord with the spirit of understanding, Blessed Bernard ministered streams of clear teaching to the people of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. With your spirit. Today, uh, friends, we celebrate the memorial of St. Bernard, abbot and doctor of the church, great teacher of the church. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made of the abbot St. Bernard a man consumed with zeal for your house and a light shining and burning in your church, grant through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ruth. In the days of the judges, famine came to the land, and a certain man from Bethlehem of Judah went, he, his wife, and his two sons, to live in the country of Moab. Eli Melech, Naomi's husband, died, and she and her two sons were left. These married Moabite women. One was named Orpha, and the other Ruth. They lived there about ten years. Then both Malon and Chilion also died, and the woman was bereft of her two sons and her husband. So she and her daughter-in-laws prepared to return from the country of Moab, for she had heard that the Lord had visited his people and given them food. Then Orpha kissed her mother-in-law and went back to her people, but Ruth clung to her. Naomi said to her, Look, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people, and to her God. You must return too. Follow your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Do not press me to leave you and to turn my back from your company. For wherever you will go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people shall be my people and your God, my God. This was how Naomi, she who returned from the country of Moab, came back with Ruth the Moabites, her daughter-in-law, and they came to Bethlehem at the beginning of the barley harvest. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks be to God. God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord my, my soul. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the land, is, is the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. Praise the Lord, my soul. It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. Praise, Praise the Lord, my soul. It is the Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down, the Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and orphan. Praise the Lord, my soul. It is the Lord who loves the just, but thwarts the paths of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God, from age to age. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord, my soul. The Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Teach me your paths, my God. 
and lead me in your truth. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they got together and to disconcert him, one of them put a question, Master, which is the greatest commandment of the law? Jesus said, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second resembles it. You must love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang the whole law and the prophets also. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We can say from the gospel, as Jesus teaches about the commandments, that if you're doing these two commandments right, then everything else will follow. The greatest in the first commandment, to love the Lord our God with all our heart. The second, to love our neighbour as ourself. If we're doing that, then we're, we're well and truly uh, on the right path. The other commandments, important though each one is, of course, um, depend on that love of God and love of neighbour. The, the love of God will manifest itself in different ways, I suppose, in our lives. We have two examples today that we can consider. One is Ruth in the first reading. Uh, Ruth decided to, after all the catastrophes of, of husbands dying and displacement, if you like, um, from uh, her own country, her own people firstly, and then uh, going to, with Naomi, back, Naomi's going back, Ruth is going with her, uh, to Bethlehem, foreign parts for, for Ruth. But she follows Naomi, she, she clings to her, as the scripture says, uh, and she says, wherever you go, I will go, and uh, your God will be my God too. And uh, uh, Ruth then comes to have faith and trust in God. She's already got that love of neighbour in her heart too because of the way she, she loyal, she's very loyal to Naomi and uh, seemed to be a good person as the story unfolds when she gets back to Bethlehem. Uh, her, her, her goodness as a person is recognised. Love of God and love of neighbour. And because of that, uh, Ruth uh, is if you like, inserted by God into a very important role in the history, the unfolding of our salvation. She becomes one of the ancestors uh, of the king. The other person to consider today is the example of St. Bernard uh, of the 12th century, uh, Bernard of Clairvaux. an eloquent uh, writer and preacher, a master of the spiritual life. He's commemorated here in St. Mary's Cathedral in the stained glass window, in the main window. There's a figure of St. Bernard kneeling there and holding a book uh, containing his writings about the Blessed Virgin Mary. He's renowned for his wisdom and his holiness of life. Uh, yes, he, he was able to be a teacher and, and, and preacher because, first of all, he had that love of God and that charity of heart, that love of neighbour, which meant that uh, he was able to 
to share it and people could see uh, and were attracted to his, uh, his, his words, his lifestyle, his teaching, his understanding, his wisdom. There's hope for all of us, even when things are not going well or when there's catastrophes. So from the first reading with Ruth and Naomi through to all sorts of of disasters in the family, deaths of husbands and having to move and be displaced, as as many people have that experience, and yet with a a love and a trust in God and and finding uh, our true identity through our faithfulness to God and, and love of neighbor and St. Bernard likewise, through love of God, love of neighbour, discovering the the joy uh, of of the truth, uh, the joy of uh, communion with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May you, Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace, as we celebrate the memorial of the abbot, St. Bernard, a man outstanding in word and deed, who strove to bring order and concord to your church, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Bernard you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. uh, Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. 
therefore, on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim, we proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Bernard and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Anthony, our Bishop. The order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory of Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm, I'm not, not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, roof but only say, the, say word, the word, and my, and my soul shall be healed. As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love, says the Lord. May the food we have received, O Lord, as we honour St. Bernard, work its effect in us so that, strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, we may be caught up in love of your incarnate word, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Well, thank you for joining us online for the Mass uh, today. We continue to pray for those who are suffering from COVID-19. We have over 600 new infections in the state uh, today. And uh, the rather gloomy news of uh, the lockdown being extended until the end of September uh, and various other rules and, uh, and restrictions in different places. Uh, 
so it could all get a little bit oppressive, but on the other hand, we've got the Lord and we'll, uh, we'll keep praying and we'll keep working our way uh, through this until we come out at the other side. And then I'm looking forward to having a packed cathedral full of saints uh, at the earliest possible opportunity. Because we should be able to emerge from this as holier people than we were going in. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace.